Your dog may need a high fiber diet for a number of reasons. Be sure to consult with your veterinarian or a canine nutritionist before switching your pup to this diet. It could help with certain health conditions, such as some issues with the stomach, but it's not going to be beneficial for every dog with every health condition revolving around digestion. So just be sure to have a chat with your veterinarian or consult a canine nutrition expert who can help you. They will analyze this recipe. They will factor in all of the different nutritional needs of your dog, um, which vary based on many factors, including age, weight, activity level, health condition. So they'll analyze the recipe. They will make sure to factor in your dog's needs and then they'll help you to either substitute some ingredients, maybe add some supplements or multivitamins to make this recipe a balanced diet for your pet. All right, guys, so the first step to making this high fiber homemade dog food was to boil two pounds of chicken in three cups of water. So here's my chicken, here's my water. I boiled the chicken for 20 minutes and then I took it out of the water and shredded the chicken. I'm gonna set the chicken aside and I still have the leftover water here in the pan. I brought it back up to a boil. And now I'm gonna add two cups of brown rice. And I have half a cup of lentils mixed in here just to save myself from having two bowls. And I also have a medium sized sweet potato that I peeled and diced. And I'm gonna add that in. And then we're just gonna let this boil for 15 minutes. I finished cooking the rice, lentils, and sweet potatoes. As you can see, they absorbed the rest of the water. So now I'm gonna just scrape these into a larger mixing bowl because I'm gonna need more space to add the rest of my ingredients. I have my two pounds of shredded chicken that I had set aside, so we're gonna put that in there. I have two teaspoons of olive oil, one cup of broccoli chopped, and then I have two tablespoons of canned pumpkin. And that's it, we're gonna mix this all together. Uh, be sure to click the link below. It'll take you to my written guide and that will give you the serving size guidelines as well as all the nutritional facts for this recipe. If you're wondering, you know, exactly how much fiber is in here, if you're wondering, um, you know, the calorie count or anything like that, all of that nutritional information is there as well as, like I said, the serving size recommendations and all the information you need for this recipe on our website there where that's printed. You can also easily print the recipe so you can keep it on hand. If you want to stay up to date with all the recipes and videos that I post, be sure to click the like button and the subscribe button underneath the video. If you like the video, that helps me out a lot. If you subscribe, that helps you out a lot because you will get notified anytime I post a new uh, product review, recipe, how-to video, all kinds of great stuff on our site. So be sure um, to help me out and click click below. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video recipe.